I was coming from Narita Airport, going towards Ikebukuro in Japan, in Tokyo. And in the train, I saw one Danish girl. I looked at her and I was shocked. She was so beautiful. In my mind, I said, my God, what a beautiful girl. Very nice moment, she looked at me. Hi, are you from Sri Lanka? I said, no, I am from India. <laughs> and then when she got on to the next station, I was forced to lift her bag and keep it outside. Hmm. Then one time I was going with uh, Oka, Oka, uh, not Okabe san, Yam, Yamada san, who was running a uh, second hand car, car engine dealer, which I was exporting engines for him to South Africa and other countries. So I was going with the Yamada san, the car, and exactly that time the school left, and all the high school girls is coming in the cycle. They wear small mini skirts. If they give up to here skirt, they will again roll it up. So they were coming. And I said, Ashi! And Yamada Sam was shocked. Ashi means, oh, look at those beautiful legs. Ashi means leg. And Yamada Sam was shocked. I went to learn tea ceremony, Ocha, in the prefecture. So, first class, I went to attend and I was sitting there. And I was only the male member in the whole class. Only women go to learn tea ceremony. Teacher accepted me after some time. One girl came, she was wearing a mini skirt. And she said, I looked at her and I said, Oh my God, what a beautiful. All others were elderly women, 35, 40. So, oh my God, what a leg. I just said, Leg. After I finished the tea ceremony class, I was going down. This girl came and said, Hi, how are you? Are you from India? <laughs> that was no oh, So, what your mind says, Truthfully, you try sometimes to be that. Kemi Pisao, born on 10th July 1813 in the US Virgin Islands, died on 13 November 1903 in Paris in France, was a Danish French Impressionist and Neo Impressionist painter born on the islands of St. Thomas, now in the US Virgin Islands, but then in the Danish West Indies. His importance resides in his contributions to both Impressionism and Post-Impressionism. Camille Pissarro said the whole world is beautiful and art is in the sea. <laughs> yes, it's beautiful, yes. The whole world is beautiful. It depends upon how you look it. To look, the art is in the seeing. And we kept on telling, teaching our children and our people, seeing is different. Many people are seeing and majority of people are blind in that seeing. They have not been able to see. Hence, the Japanese kids have been taught one look, they will immediately picture the person. And if the policeman asks, they can draw exactly what eye, color, ear, nose, mouth, height, weight in one look. I was thinking that was not a truthful thing. So whenever there was a tournament and I will exactly tell from that end to this end 30 by 30 and my student go and measure it up exactly 30 by 30 the fight here. <laughs> but if you practice it was possible. The art is in the same and we kept on teaching the whole philosophy throughout the world I think maybe but in India it is a must that you seeing is different from observing. Everything what you see, immediately you observe. And our Indian women, I found more than the men, were more observant. They observe even the ears, nose, what color is the pant and the shirt and the shoes and how you smile, when you smile. There was a beautiful art. I do not know about the city women. I think city women are not that observant, but I found in the village everybody is observed except the men. Maybe men are uh, just moving towards of the heavy hard labor and coming back tired, but there is still the art is going on, the observing art. Kamiya Pizarro said, whole world is beautiful. That was what India has taught. The whole world, the Hindu religion has taught the whole world and everything what they say beautiful, they make an idol and they start worshipping that idol. I was shocked. I was teaching one Japanese person 
uh, yoga for some time and he, after some years I when I saw him he has <laughs> put my picture and was doing puja <laughs> worshiping beauty I said but I am not a god and he said no 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 anath commission for me you are commission means you are a god but i said you said god god and i hear from this said dog <laughs> let me be that dog not the god god is for so many people who would wipe out more tears and bring down hunger i have not even started the journey when i looked into him my chinese student in london he was a chartered accountant he refused to live in my room he just was trying to stay there and i have to force him to go back what was the attraction there is no idea but india has taught almost everybody every child when they see a tree they merely put a small lamp and they do a small worship they touch the tree they go around the tree can you believe it? They, they cut the chisel the stones and create snakes if they love a bird and they worship the bird yes everything is god for them but here camia pizarro said everything is beautiful maybe the indian our my indian people must have seen a real beauty not the external beauty but of course the external beauty is also very important yesterday i was discussing this matter with akshita deshmukh i was telling akshita have you ever noticed the beauty people are putting so much of uh, makeup and if i ask them to pour water into the eyes so the eyes you know, power increases and thoroughly wash your face or work very hard you sweat and then in that sweat there is a beauty and akshita is telling but our indian women who is going to the offices are fighting to sweat because the moment they sweat all the makeup comes out i said have you noticed after the sweat you clean up and you put up the makeup you look more beautiful the sweat hence the indian people worship so many things as god maybe they think so many things is beautiful and the men in india worship even though they say men in india is suppressed indian women i think men in india worships the women beauty they keep on giving lot of money for them to dress up to make up and the men keep so dressing up their daughters and the wives the whole country is dressed up if you go to any marriage in india or the temple you can see only colors all around and you look deeper you can see all whether it is village girls or city girls they have been dressed because this is a land which looks at the beauty and inside the beauty the next moment they call is amma amma means in india god but for some people they say it is mother but not mother deeper as goddess and they are always going and giving all the money into their hands and then what they give back they take it they just trust but only one thing because of the uh, muslim invasion and the and the uh, british invasion uh, british uh, slavery of our land for thousand years colonization of land our men forgot to give freedom from that what to money they give if they are given that freedom like the japanese they are given the women uh, what do you call uh, home signs in india home science i don't know it now it is available home science means they teach them only cooking and how to take care of the house but home science in japan is it is bonds shares banks 
and then of course electricity water telephone charges buying lands they rent into real estate trying to find out jobs and putting the children for the wedding and updating all that is done and men has to only work and go give all the money our indian women also like that but they were stopped at that only taking care of the house and cooking out said no 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 bonds no shares were been taught if that has been done the whole world is beautiful the art is seen. seeing you all watching I feel so blessed and that was my strength in watching you watching me for the last 820 days